Hey guys, it's Davey here from PhoneBuff.com and in this video I'm doing a review on HD widgets. A lot of you guys have been asking me about it in my video so I figured I might as well do a full on review on it. So as you can see I have my weather widget right here. I also have a switch widget from HD widgets that lets me toggle my wireless controls on and off. So before I go into uh, the details as far as how the uh, widgets work, I'll go ahead and show you what widgets or what sizes you could add with HD widgets. So you could do either switches or weather for a 1x1, you could do a 2x1 for weather, uh, 4x1 for switches and weather, 4x2 for uh, the weather and uh, switches, and then there's a 4x4 if you want to take up the full screen. So anyway, this is a 4x2, as you can see, it's four icons across, two icons up. And um, if you tap on any of these areas which are customizable, so for example, when I tap on this guy, it goes to my Google Calendar. But if you have a different cal uh, calendar app on your phone, you can actually customize that button to go to the app that you want. Same thing goes with the weather, but in this case, I just like using uh, the HD Widgets weather uh, UI because I just feel like it looks super, super nice. Um, as you can see, I have multiple cities on here. You can change your weather provider from Weatherbug, Aggie Weather, Google Weather, and Weather Underground. So we'll just go ahead and use uh, Google Weather. And as you can see, the forecast actually changes. Google Weather only gives you four days for some reason, so I just stick with Weatherbug. Anyway, you can add more places by hitting that guy and uh, you know adding more cities. And if you go to settings, you can see you have all these different options. It is ICS themed, so you're gonna have a you know, nice clean interface. And you could edit the widget hotspots like I was talking about earlier right here. So for example, if I wanted my, uh, my calendar to uh, switch, now it does take kind of long for it to load up, but anyway, if I wanted to switch my calendar app, I could choose you know what app I wanted it to use. Obviously, that's the only calendar app I have, so I'm gonna hit cancel, but you get the idea there. Now, I'll go ahead and show you um, some of the other things. So let me show you that you could change like the, the date format, the time format. Anyways, let's go ahead and show you the widget itself now. So as you can see, this is my weather widget right now. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one though. So I'll go right here and out, add a similar one. I'll do a four by two again, let's drop it right here. And uh, what's really cool is you see this background, it shows my wallpaper so I can see what this widget will look like. And uh, it's very customizable. So I could choose whether I want the header in the center, if I want it over to the left, like I have on my home screen, if I want it to the right. So say for example, I want it to the right. I could actually choose the background. So you see right here, I'm on the background tab. Let's say I make the background red and um, let's do the clock now. And you can see I could choose all these different types of clocks. I'll choose this guy. Actually, you know what? The one that I was on looked better. So we'll just choose that because it looks pretty good. We could actually choose the background. So I could choose if I want it to be like that. Um, with the four little separated uh, tabs, I could do just uh, two little tabs like that. I mean, really lets you customize exactly how you want it. I can just take it off completely. Looks kind of weird without it. So I'll just leave, uh, we'll do this guy. Anyway, you can go to the clock color. So I can actually change the color of the font itself. So let's say I wanted to make it blue to match my background and there you go, that's pretty cool. And uh, you can even go to the font and change it. So right now it's like on a bold font. I can make it you know, skinnier, I can make it uh, look like this. I mean, you get the idea. So anyway, um, that's how you can customize your widgets. You can do it for any of the widgets. Um, there's a few other types of widgets you can do. Uh, you don't have to do a weather and clock. You can just do a clock alone. And again, you have the same customizable features. You can do clock and date. You can do just weather. You can do a three-day forecast or you can do a five-day forecast. So definitely cool. Another cool feature right here is the random button. Say you, didn't, you just want to do a random one, it'll choose a random uh, customization for you, but obviously you probably wouldn't use that all that often considering that you got this widget to be able to customize it. So anyway, I, this is my switch widget, so I'll go ahead and add another switch widget really quick. So it's a four by one. I'll go ahead and add it to my home screen. So again, you can switch it to be a switch. You can make it just a forecast. You could be a, a clock. You can't really see that right now, but there's a clock right here. And uh, you could decide you know, where you want the clock. So same type of customization as we saw with the other widget. But I'm gonna go back and go to the switches because the switches wasn't available on the other one or the other size. So as you can see, I could switch uh, the background. So I'm just gonna make the background look like that, kind of match my background a little. We'll go to switches. Now this is the coolest part because you could choose a whole bunch of uh, different default ones that they come with, uh, controls that you probably use. So if you wanted, for example, if you had a 4G phone, you have the option to turn 4G off, Bluetooth brightness, whatever. Um, and the power saver, if you cared about, you know, saving your battery life, these are all the ones that have to do with your battery life. So definitely cool, but you know, the one I choose, as you can see, it says David switches because this is, I customized it myself. So if you go over to switches, 
and uh, tap on this little arrow right here, you could actually customize each one of these. So these are the ones I actually use, like Tilt Lock. I love having that feature on there, bright, auto brightness, etc. But let's say, for example, I didn't want GPS, and you know I don't really use that all that much, but I don't know what else to put. I could put my battery right here, so I could have my battery. So if I hit check now, we'll go home to my icon. So it hasn't updated yet. I have to delete this guy and then re-add it. So let me re-add it really quick. Oh man, this messed it up. Anyway, um, oh actually no, I didn't right here. Battery. So hit check. There you go. So you can see now I have my battery percentage right there. So that's definitely a cool feature if I didn't want to, uh, you know, if I didn't have a battery percentage up in my notification board. But anyway, this is a quick review. Actually, it's not quick. It's almost six minutes. But anyway, uh, that's my review for HD widgets. I mean, I really love this app. I definitely recommend it. Uh, very clean user interface, really customizable. I mean, just about everything's customizable. The developers done a really nice job with it. And um, like I said, it has ICS uh, theme settings. So it's nice and clean interface. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. Hopefully this helps you out. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit bumbuff.com for more helpful news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.